Hi guys, welcome back to Jack's Vlogs. Happy New Year, it's 2025 now. It's been quite a few years since I last did a video. Uh, I wanna do a very, very short video today. I'm gonna keep this as short as possible. Um, the Virgin Media Router video slash TP Link Router video that I did a few years ago is very outdated now. There, I still get a lot of messages. I get a lot of comments on that video, still people asking questions. There are better and easier options available with um, wireless mesh systems. That's hard to say, actually. Wireless mesh systems. So basically, um, the, the ones that I recommend is the Unix we call, that call me multiple nodes, as they call them. So um, they're normally have three or four in a pack. You can run them wirelessly and still get pretty good signal. I'm, I'm talking like full house and garden coverage. Uh, if you want the maximum speed, if you've got you know, a really big house and you want a maximum speed, you're gonna need to link together at least one of them, if not all of them. Um, but the beauty of a mesh system is they all work together as one big network. So uh, whereas if you're running access points, uh, i.e. like in the first video that I showed everybody, what you'll find is if you're using Wi-Fi calling, for instance, you'll go through the house and uh, if it connects to the access point router, the extra one, and you walk into a different room, i.e. the Virgin Media router in, in the first video, as it, your phone connects between the two as you move through the house, you'll get call drops, unfortunately. But with wireless mesh systems, that will not happen. So you can walk wherever you want and uh, everything is just seamless. Like I said, they're much easier to set up. You don't need to go into a load of complicated menus anymore. You can literally, I mean, on the system that I had, you scan a QR code, it took 10 minutes, it was set up and done. And when I bought the secondary node and plugged that in as well, it literally automatically configured five minutes, it updated itself and it was all ready to go again. It is so easy to do now. So just to show everybody what I use, now I use, I uh, actually got one of these with my internet provider. They're called Eero 6 Pluses. Now they do different versions of these. The 6 Plus is the one that you'll need if you want one gig uh, support, basically. So I'm on a gig internet, I've got a gig up and a gig down, and um, they're the ones that you're gonna need if you wanna be carrying that uh, speed throughout the house, basically. Uh, but what you'll find is, like U5, the one that I got given with them, the one that they provided as the main router, um, should be, you know, fit for purpose. So they won't give you one that doesn't support the speed that uh, you're paying for, basically. Now, if you're with someone like Virgin or Sky, I mean, to be honest, Sky do um, extra things that you can pay for now. But this is the problem with a lot of these companies like Sky is if you want to start adding, um, you know, their own nodes, you normally pay monthly for it. And, you know, come a few years, you've spent like 100, 200 quid on just being able to get Wi-Fi coverage in your own house, which I think is just a bit bizarre, to be honest. So I like to buy everything, buy it outright. But to be honest, it doesn't matter, like I say, which brand you buy. The whole point is to make uh, things easier for everybody uh, than in the first video. So you want a wireless mesh system. What I will put in the comments is a link to a few different options. I'll put a link to a TP-Link one and the Eero 6 uh, units that I have. Uh, like I say, you can buy them singly, you can buy them in packs. Uh, I'd recommend obviously buying a pack if you've not already got any, buy a set of two or three. Try running them wirelessly, see what the speeds are like. It normally tells you where to put them in your house when you set them up on the apps um, and just see what the speeds are like. If you find that the speed is too weak uh, in certain parts of your house, you're still gonna really wanna run ethernet cables. You can pay someone to do it or you can do it yourself um, like when we run ours in the old house. As I say, I did try the TP-Link nodes uh, one of their systems i can't remember which one it was only one of the cheap ones and the, the signal distance that i got between one and two um obviously only one being wired and the other one being the shed miles away was really really good actually i think we still had i think we were on like a 200 meg connection at that house and we were getting like 20 30 so it was still you know easily usable for daily usage as long as you're not expecting you know to be downloading huge updates and you had to go in the house but to say running cables it was an absolute godsend to be honest so like i said i put a few links in the video to ones that i'd recommend if you've got any questions fire them down in the comments below um, there's plenty of reviews on YouTube of different types of mesh systems and which ones to go for. Um, it, it all depends what you're, I mean, for most people's needs, the simple Unix are enough. 
Um, I'd say the best value for money ones that I know is probably the Eero models. Um, but I haven't tried, you know, the sort of the new upper market Tipoli. I think Netgear sell their highest range ones for like £2,000 or something crazy like that. But obviously, if you know that much about internet, you're probably not going to be watching these videos. But yeah, I hope it helps. Fire any questions in the comments and I'll put a few links in the description. Stay safe, have a good 2025 and uh, hopefully we'll do some more videos soon. Cheers.